Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 25th to the 31st of October 2021 and I hope you're doing well. I'm using the Lunar Nomad Oracle or Lenamon deck as I don't think it's an oracle, I think it's Lenamon. So, there you go. <laughs> and I'm using the Haunted uh, Lenamon. I am all in the course of Halloween. I'm getting ready for Halloween. I hope you are too. Anyway, we are also going into Scorpio. There is full moon tonight because this is the 20th and I'll be putting it out today on the 20th. And depending on where you are in the hemisphere, you might see it, you might not see it. I hope you've watched the full moon energy video. Use it to your advantage. Okay, my darlings, thank you very much for your likes and shares as well. And you know you are my darlings. So... Let's have a look if everything is in balance for you, shall we? You come in with the woman. The woman, you could be meeting a woman, you could be dealing with a woman. This could be a mother figure, this could be a totally new lady in your life, whether you're a man or a woman. If you're looking for new love, then yes, it could be a new love. Otherwise, it could be a friend, a best friend for life. Also, this woman might open up the book because we have the open book here there's two books in this deck um, one closed and one open and I've left them in so yes it, it is more visual than normal an open book means she's a very open book she um, she's very honest um, as you can understand I'm just altering it a little bit so you can see all the cards in detail also, she could be a very wise woman because we've got an owl in this uh, this this deck, in this card, and she's she will she'll be too pleased to tell you everything about her. And most probably, she's an open book, means to say that she's honest. So don't fear. You've got number twenty nine, which becomes eleven. That's an angelic number. The angels are protecting you and have your back. You've also got number 26, which is an 8. So you're going up from an 8 to an 11. You're in your power. You're in your element. Also, money could be coming towards you. Be careful, though, because forewarned is forearmed. You also have the mice. And the mice means you might have lost something. Something might be gnawing at you. Um, also, they work in groups, so if you are busy, then ask for a helping hand. Many hands make light work. Also, um, I think um, something that you've lost, you could have lost something, and this lady could be telling you where you could find it. This could be your mother or your partner, like I said, a, a lady in your life. Somebody could have stolen something. And she might know who that is. You didn't know about it because you've got the moon. And the moon means also unknown things. But here you are. You've got the book. So gather knowledge. Listen eagerly to what this woman has to tell you. Also, secrets are coming out. You could be starting a new study. Um, because the book means gaining knowledge. Especially with the owl around here. Gaining wisdom. Also, luck is on your side, so I think whatever you've lost, you will have a second chance in getting it back. Now, this deck is very um, chemistry-like and alchemistic-like with some of the signs with all these medical things in them, like the brain, with all these... Uh, areas they represent like humanity, memory, love, whatever. Um, you might have seen one of these skulls. They're usually made out of pottery and then the skull is segmented with memory, fortune. Whether you have a fortune-telling skull or whether you have a, a, a biology skull. So it depends. There's two different types. Also here, the gallbladder, the stomach, the intestines, um, the uh, the gullet, that's part of the sarcophagus of the, 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 the throat. 
So something might be turning in your stomach or something turns your stomach. That's the idea I get from this card. In every single deck you have special things that you see or uh, um, stimulate my intuition or my uh, paranormal uh, talent or gift, whatever you want to call it. So that could be a woman that turns your stomach. And now it might be coming out into the open. This woman could have stolen something as well. That's the other scenario. Okay. Or you might get knots in your stomach. That is when you don't like somebody and you feel very uncomfortable when you're around them. So be careful. She might steal your 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 energy your tummy gets up stuck uh, uptight so you see how these cards work they're all different that's why it's nice to use different decks together and from time to time also you might have butterflies in your stomach because your stomach is by the solar plexus so you've got the stomach here and that's the entry of the stomach then here is the solar plex that's just by the v of your chest right so you might be getting butterflies because you might meet a new lady Ooh, nice one so if you've got a feeling like that then you know uh, love is in the air Ooh, nice one I hope that's going to I hope she will steal your heart because mice also means stealing so I hope she will steal your heart she most probably will be bringing you luck because you've got the four leaf clover. You've got number 23 here, which becomes a five. So it might bring you out of balance. Yes, if you're falling in love, you will fall out of balance. Don't wear those rose colored glasses for too long. You've got two. So come back into balance. OK. You've got number 32 here. So that's a five. So you've got two fives. So that's the angelic number, 11. Then you've got the two fives. And um, you've got the angelic number here again because you've got the woman again. So there could be more than one woman fancying you or you could be dealing with more women than just one. You might have to make a choice. Okay. Well, this is quite a funny reading. Good. I like a reading with a sense of humor. Last week we had it in Virgo with a dancing old lady. Now you've got the sense of humor. The cards are uh, showing us humor, light heartedness and things unknown. So you're going to have an exciting time discovering each other. OK, well, she's going to be an open book, so don't worry too much. She won't throw you too much out of balance, Libra. Because you've got the moon, you are in the spotlight. So she's most probably seen you sooner than you have seen her. Perhaps she might approach you and ask you out. Ooh, nice one. Well, of course, the lady is lying underneath here as well. So she might ask you out on, for a Friday night date at the beginning of the week or at the end of the week in the morning. Now, the moon also means that there's light on your path. So definitely, you know where you're going. You've got your wits about you, although um, you've got butterflies in the in the positive sense in your stomach. Now. So don't worry too much. Stay away from the mushrooms. You see what kind of mess, mess, message you get? Well, here in Holland, you can um, eat mushrooms or buy mushrooms. It can be a, a, a drink, I think. Um, the magic mushrooms I'm talking about. So stay away from funny, um, uh, uh, funny things, you know, drugs. So keep your brain together. Keep your brain together so that you do know that you, um, what you hear, if you're getting to know somebody, don't be influenced by, how do you say that? Um, substances so whether it's drink alcohol keep your brain with it okay you've got the ear here you've got the pair of eyes here somebody is seeing you it is the spotlight but also um keep your mouth a bit closed because it's closed here it's closed there just listen and see and observe see whether 
um, she sings your song. That's what I'm hearing. Also, um, mushrooms, just ordinary mushrooms. Perhaps it's nice. I'm, I'm somebody saying if you're going out to dinner, play it safe and go for steak and mushroom sauce with boiled potatoes. Steak and mushroom sauce, not the magic mushrooms, the ordinary mushrooms that you can eat. Okay. Um, the mushrooms have nothing to do, and neither has this gazebo uh, um, with the moon card. But it's another way of depicting it, and you get different messages from different pictures. I also read the cards intuitively. So if anybody out there is a Lena Mum reader, uh, don't, uh, please don't uh, tell me off you're not reading the Lena Mum in the right way. I'm not impressed. I've been told that before, but I also use the cards uh, uh, visually and intuitively. Now, also you have the house. Boom. The house could be mean that this relationship could be long term and be built on proper foundations. So long you listen, see and be open to um, receiving news. Something that you might not know. This person might have fancied you for a long, long time. This could, it doesn't have to be a lady, it can be a man. Of course, cards aren't discriminative or sexist or racist, all right? Now, you've got the European woman because there is another woman in the deck and that is an Indian, Indian woman, an Indian lady. Both very beautiful, but here we've got uh, a woman in general, just the skeleton, right? You can see that. Now, this woman is wearing a mask. It looks like a mask. The man does as well. But in the man, um, it has no eyes. Now, she does have eyes. And eyes are quite prominent to see, to be objective. Remember, the eyes are the windows to the soul. So if you look with your eyes and you let your intuition speak, you open your solar plex and you let your intuition speak to you, you can feel her vibes and read her eyes. And then you can... Feel whether she's genuine or not. Okay. Now, I think this could be for a lot of you a new relationship. You could be moving in together. You could be buying a house together. If you are already going out with each other, you could be moving home. But the house also means um, you are isolating yourself. So don't isolate yourself. I know the home feels safe, protected and warm and cozy but come out of your comfort zone dare to come out of your comfort zone Libra okay you could be buying another house you could be moving home you could be moving in with them or they with you there is definitely a new beginning okay again you've got a number eight here you've got an eight you had an under an eight there the house number could be 88 so who knows, or eight. You've also got four. So four is productivity and also proper foundations. So come out of your, um, your comfort zone as well. That is what it means. When you leave the house, you're not protected. You're not safe. You are out in the big wide world. But it could also represent isolation. So don't isolate yourself, especially if you want to have a relationship, a new beginning with somebody else, because the coffin means a transformation, a transition into a new face. You've got an exciting reading and you've got luck. You've got the angel number twice, 11. Wow, the angels and the divine has your back. And this is the one that I have for you. Okay, the camel boy. Small steps, ask for help. And what did I tell you? If you are busy, um, ask for help. Many hands make light work. You've also got number 33, which is also an angelic number. An angelic number is a double number. Okay. When the Campbell boy comes, comes as your ally, he reminds you that asking for help will bring in the right people to ease the burden of your life. 
Perhaps a wise person appears to give you advice, could be your mother. Maybe you are moving and suddenly a couple of friends offer to give you a hand with your packing. Or you want information, moving, okay? Be careful when you're moving and they are true and trustworthy friends because things disappear. Okay, or you want information about someone or you just happen to run into his former partner. Who gives you the knowledge you need to make the decision you've been waiting weighing for? Well, you are weighing things. Perhaps that is the decision that you're taking because this woman is going to give you information. There you go. No matter the issue, this is a sign that if you ask, you will receive what you need. Synchronicity is engaged when you request assistance. The camel boy never lets you down when you ask for help in enlightening your load. Now is the time to do so and to expect to get it. There you are, the new beginning. Boom! So ask and thou shall get. Believe it, miracles haven't left the world yet, Libra. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Remember, it is a general reading, but it can resonate to finances, perhaps theft um, in the business, um, perhaps uh, love, a general, um, and so on. If you would like to have your own private reading, then please look for the details either in the top right hand corner by clicking on the angel or in the description box. Take care and have a wonderful week and have a wonderful Halloween. Be careful, it's still Mercury retrograde. Ciao, ciao.